this the Tuesday, April the 6th, I think it's April 6th, Attitude and Gratitude video. Well, I'm up again, early in the morning. Uh, I couldn't sleep. I haven't felt tired, though, luckily. A few months ago when I had insomnia, I was miserable. I mean, I was so tired, I thought I would die, and I still couldn't sleep. But, uh... Uh, let's see, today I'm thankful for Charlie. Charlie came again last night. Dad was tired after his flight yesterday. Uh, they got in early in the morning. They had a, they were up at like, they were at the airport at like 4.30 in the morning and uh, had to fly back to Atlanta. And then Charlie went to pick them up. He took a day off from work. He works for the government. And uh, he's got a lot of, sick leave days, vacation days he can take. He went up and picked them up so Dad wouldn't have to leave his BMW at the airport. And uh, Charlie came last night bringing ja a Jack's hamburger. It's not Jack in the box, it's just Jack's. And uh, they have a restaurant in Lafayette, Alabama. And he uh, picked me up that. Had some of the best fries I've ever eaten. I thought they were just wonderful. They were crinkle cut fries, which you usually don't see in fast food restaurants. And the hamburger was delicious, too. It just drove Maggie crazy. He didn't bring Maggie any treats last night. And uh, I tore off several pieces of the hamburger and gave it to Maggie. Well, that was not enough. She wanted the whole hamburger. <laughs> and I was laying here on the bed eating. I was sitting up on the back of the bed. I had my pillows up where I could sit up. And I was watching the Weather Channel, watching Tornado Week. Tornado Week, a bunch of bullshit. I'll have to go through that this week. I want just the forecast. I don't want all that tornado stuff. But uh, I was proud to get that meal. I'm running real low on groceries. Tuesday is grocery day, so I've got to go all day today on just... I've, this is what I've got left. I've got some vegetable soup left that I made the other night, which will be for lunch. And then I've got... I'm making grilled cheese sandwiches for supper. All I've got is cheese and bread left. And uh, all my meals are gone. And you'd think after as much food as Charlie's brought me, I'd be... I'd have a lot of food left. And I haven't been doing the bulimia. I've been really good about that. Uh, I've actually gained some weight lately. But uh, anyway, I went to another, I've got the habit of going to the Midnight AA meeting. I'm starting to get to know people there and when I joined the room tonight, everybody said, hey Andrew, I signed as Andrew Quixote. And, uh, Everybody said, hey, Andrew, like they all knew me, and it made me feel good. I'm easily amused. And uh, the thing about AA is some of the meetings I've been to lately, some real-world meetings, is you see people from all walks of life. You see businessmen in suits. You see professors. I saw uh, Dr. Sam, an old professor from LaGrange College, and... Uh, we used to be really good friends. He used to invite me over to eat supper with him and his wife and his daughter. And I saw him at an AA meeting. I hadn't seen him in probably 15 years. We went through treatment together one time, my early, early days, right when I was about in college. And it was so good to see him. He about didn't know what to say to me, though. I think he was kind of ashamed that, it, that he was still going to AA. But uh, I was just glad to see him. Hold on a second. Let me put my ashes out. I shouldn't be smoking on one of my gratitude attitude videos, so I was just dying for a cigarette and I wanted to do my video too. So you get both. You get me smoking. That's what I do all day. But uh that's about all I've got to be thankful for tonight. Oh, and I'm thankful I've taken a positive attitude about George. Uh I just want him to be okay. And he's in a safe place. And I know he's gonna be bored shitless sitting in jail, but He's got a lot of time to think, and I hope it wakes him up, too. George was always a functional alcoholic, though, except for the DUIs. He, he'd he always make it to work, and he wouldn't drink so much as to have blackouts. I always had blackouts. I wouldn't remember what I was doing. Uh, I'd wake up in the hospital or wake up in jail or wake up in a treatment center not remembering how I got there. It's always the scariest thing in the world. I never could drink just six beers. I drank 24. And can you imagine drinking 24 beers? That's what I drank every day for years. When I first started the blog, 
and I was writing about Georgia and the gang, I'd go down to the shopping center every day and we'd sit around on the benches and there'd be a long stretches in between stores and you could just sit on the benches and Big S would be panhandling and George would be running his taxi service and you could always find them down there. And we'd, we'd drink our beers in plastic sacks because it was legal to have open containers out in public in, in the city limits. So we put them in plastic sacks to hide them. So if the police run by, they couldn't see us just sitting there drinking beers out in the open. It's silly stuff. I kind of miss those days in a way, isn't that silly? We had a lot of fun. But, uh, well, I will close. This is today's Attitude of Gratitude video. really enjoyed doing these videos. I, I hope you all enjoy them as well. Well, let me turn off. Oh, one last thing. I'm having a lot of problems with my camera, so if suddenly the video stopped. You know why? It's actually the batteries. I got rechargeable batteries that come with my camera, and they're getting old. So I've got to find out a way to get get some new batteries. And uh, I read online that you could use lithium batteries from the grocery store, so I'm going to try those with mom. Uh, I to unscrew the cover and put the new batteries in. And we'll see if that doesn't fix the issue. But thank y'all for listening to me run my mouth this morning. And I wish you all a great day. And, and thank you for being my friend. I really appreciate it. Good day.